In this video, I'm just going to show you how I break down a turkey. Not to say that I'm perfect at it. I probably do a dozen or so a year. Uh, if you're new to turkey hunting, hopefully you'll find this helpful. Or maybe you've uh, butchered turkeys in the past and there's a few tricks that I do that you've never thought of. First and foremost, we have the beard. That's about the as easy as you can get for uh, butchering something. I just pull it out and and cut it off, obviously. Then I do trim the fat off of it a little bit. It's not a big deal. That's going to dry out. Um, you can borax it if you want. Otherwise, honestly, I've, I've just left them in the past and they'll be fine. Here I'm just sizing up the fan and just deciding how many feathers I want to keep on it. Uh, the best advice I can give you is definitely take more feathers than you think you want because you can always take some off later. As you can see, I just start right, I mean basically at the rump and cut as deep as I can. And you can see I'm going to pull that fan out further and then just skin up the back a little bit. And you'll see when I'm finished, I'm going to pull out a, a big wad of feathers that I'm not going to end up using for my fan. Uh, but like I said, you can always take some off. It's really hard to, to put feathers back on. When mounting a fan, a lot of people, you know, like to see three layers of feathers. Obviously we have our, our big tail feathers and then kind of secondary and tertiary fan feathers after that. And honestly, that fan is about exactly what I want. I don't have a lot of extra. Uh, it'll be just right. If I had a hacksaw for this, I would just use the hacksaw, but I don't know. We couldn't find a hacksaw blade, so I just use the sawzall. If you're going to use a sawzall, you have to be careful when you cut this little nub piece off because you can shatter the bones and ruin your spurs. You can see the spurs from this bird are quite small, even though it's a mature tom. Uh, in our area, there's a lot of rocky soil. And when they scratch the ground, if they're scratching it where those rocks are, they're going to wear their spurs out. Next, we're going to take the wings off. I am going to save these wings and add them to my fan mount. So you can see our first, there's like a V in the wing bones and I cut down that V opposed to taking the entire wing. Um, you really don't need the whole wing. It's, it's a bit much, I think, for even the, the taxidermy. And after you cut that V, go ahead and pop the joint. That's, that would be the hardest part, and then you can see it opens up and you just kind of cut the rest of the tissue out with your knife, and it comes out pretty easy. And after that, we're just going to repeat the process on the other side.
And here we're going to take off these knee joints. Uh, you definitely want to cut around the joint to start. If you try to break it, the skin is just way too strong. So once I cut it, it's pretty easy to pull open, kind of like our wing. And then just cut the tendons and the tissue out. And you'll have yourself a little turkey leg bone. As you're about to see, your knives are going to get really dull when you're cutting these joints out. So I would use, you know, maybe not your best knife for this part. Now we're getting to the good stuff. I'm gonna cut that breast out. First thing I do is make a little incision to uh, peel our skin and feathers back to expose the breast meat. And breast meat, it's it's super simple. Just make sure you go slow. Um, it's kind of like filleting a fish if you've ever done that before. There's uh, that breast bone right in the middle, and I'm gonna end up taking my knife along either side of that breast bone, and then just following that bone all the way down until we cut out the bottom um, of the meat. There's going to be on the top side of the breast toward the head, there is going to be a, a, a portion of that meat that isn't necessarily against the bone. It kind of hangs over it. Um, but you'll see as I pull it back and expose it, we just go slow and, and cut around the edge of it and we'll get a nice big turkey breast. Before I start working on our breast meat, I'm going to trim away this connective tissue that is also right up against the turkey's crop. The crop is where their food goes right after they've eaten it, before they go to their gizzard. And do your best to not puncture that while you are still taking the meat out of your turkey. There's just going to be a lot of like digestive juices, you know, insects, um, greenery. Probably best if that stays away from your meat. And here I just continue to pull that skin around our, our thighs and legs. And you'll see I pull it as far as I can toward that ball joint. Sometimes I can't, I can't pull it all the way off that uh, last joint, so I'll just end up cutting it. You'll have a little extra feathers uh, to clean up later. The skin on the legs and thighs tends to be a little bit tougher, so a lot of times I'll, you'll see I'll take my knife and just cut it all the way up to that knee joint. Just helps speed things up a little bit.
And here we go. We'll just open up a freezer bag so I don't have to do it while my hands are full. And you'll see I'm going to start by following that breastbone that's right down the middle, that piece of white that's showing. And I'm just going to slowly cut that down. And I kind of pull the meat away as I go. And that's really all you have to do. Follow it all the way down till there's no more meat left and you'll have a nice turkey breast. And anyone that says wild turkey isn't good table fare just clearly does not know how to cook. To me, it's one of the easiest pieces of game uh, to prepare if you just treat it like you would a chicken and not overcook it. It's going to be good. I mean, look at that giant white piece of meat. What's not to like? And here's one side of our breast. It's such a big piece of meat, uh, I would recommend just putting one breast per freezer bag. You can always take two out, but it's it's kind of a pain if you thaw, you know, both breasts out and you can't eat it all. And, you know, we just don't want any of it to go to waste. This bird's been hanging for a day, so most of the heat has left its meat. If you clean them, you know, within a few hours of shooting it, there's going to be a lot of uh, heat and humidity inside that breast meat. You'll see when you put that breast into their, your plastic freezer bag, it's going to steam up. Uh, if that's the case, make sure you keep that bag open. And I would, I would put it in the fridge, you know, for half an hour to let it cool off. Then you can go ahead and, and seal it and put it in your freezer. That's going to prevent a lot of uh, bacteria from growing, you know, on your meat. Even though if you do put it in the freezer, um, when you thaw it out, there's just going to be a lot of extra bacteria from that humidity. It's just best to let your meat cool off uh, before we freeze it. And now we just repeat the other side.
Now let's get to the legs and thighs. Um, I cut them out together while they're connected. And the first thing you'll see I'm gonna do is grab that leg and pull it down to like a 90 degree angle from the rest of the body. And that's gonna point, uh, pop that joint out. And then I'm just gonna cut uh, kind of along the body the rest of that, uh, through the rest of that muscle and the tissue. And that leg's gonna come right out. Here I just pull that leg up to get the rest of the cut on the back side. Makes it a little bit easier. Um, I really like the, the thigh meat especially. What I've been doing lately is putting them in a crock pot and doing like turkey salad. I mean two thighs on a turkey is, is a lot of meat. The calf I would call it, there's a lot of tendons in it. Um, even when I do the turkey salad it's kind of tough to cut all the meat out of it that I like. I have a lot better luck. Um, doing you know a lot of broth with it or boiling it down and doing soups so when I boil it down you know a lot of that meat is going to come off of the tendons uh, and then I can use that turkey as much as possible and here we go again very important to pop this joint if you're trying to cut it out without popping that ball joint uh, you're going to get very frustrated. Bring it to the edge of the table and pop it right out. And here we have all of our turkey meat. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Let me know, I might make some more uh, game cleaning videos in the future. And don't forget to grab a freezy pop when you're done cleaning your bird.